welcome back to something else Hyundai. This is my 2024 Hyundai Ionic 5 SEL Extended Range All-Wheel Drive. And it has the lead acid 12 volt battery. It's a 2024 and it's currently December 2025. And I, there's been numerous issues with this car's ICCU and 12 volt system. Not this car directly, but with the model in general. A lot of people have swapped out for a lithium ion battery pack, but I'm not too sure on that. The large majority of Hyundai owners are swapping their 12 volt lead acid battery out for an AGM. So I went to Walmart and I bought this Everstart H5 AGM 2X whatever four year warranty H5 series AGM battery. It was $180. We're gonna swap out this and I'm gonna show you how to do that. Electric cars are different than an internal, internal combustion engine battery swap. Why? Because the high voltage battery pack powers a DC to DC converter to run your 12 volt systems. So not only can you run off of the 12 volt battery, the high voltage can also power your 12 volt devices when the vehicle is on. And there's an important safety tip you gotta do. So let's get to it. Starting off, you're gonna open your frunk. Mine houses my low voltage or cheap 110 charger and a rag. You're gonna grab this thing and give it a tug. Throw it to the side. That is going to allow you to get access to your battery. This is normally closed. Squeeze this and open it. Also squeeze these two tabs here and pull this up. What we're gonna do first, inside your little fuse block thing here, you're gonna see this orange tab. Pull it up until it clicks. That disables the high voltage pack from charging or having access to the 12 volt system. At which time you simply take a 10 millimeter and loosen this bolt up and remove this. This is your negative battery connection. Set it to the side. With this fuse pulled up, you can take the positive off. Same scenario, just loosen this up a little bit until it wiggles and then you can pull this off. Now, your 12 volts disconnected, your car is dead. On the side of the battery, right here, is a 12 millimeter bolt. You're gonna need a longer extension on that. So use your long extension, pull this 12 meter bolt, millimeter bolt out, long bolt. Yep, long bolt, drop it. That bolt, there's an aluminum plate right here you have to pull off. It's the battery hold down. Once that is done, grab your go handle and grab the battery out. Grab your other battery in its place, Toss it in there, push it towards the back, making sure it's in, and then reinsert this piece. And then you put this long screw in. I'm gonna start it by hand. All right, once you get that bolt started, you can run it down. Now I had to scoot the battery back and towards the driver's side in order to get that in. Good time to blow out or vacuum out any crap that's in here. All right, that's tight. Switch back to my 10 mil. Now remember, our high voltage is still disconnected. We're gonna remove our caps here. And we're gonna put our positive back on first, which is here. Ouch, pinch my finger. Tighten this up. Good and tight connection. Make sure it doesn't wiggle, you know. Clip that down. At which time, you can now push this back down. Your high voltage system will not connect. Now you can plug your battery back in and tighten this connector down. Nice and tight. Put your cover back on. Put your cover back on. And you're done. And that's how you change a battery in the 2024, or actually the 2022 through 2026 Hyundai Ionic 5. It'll save you the hassle of having a dead 12 volt system and having to call Hyundai. Yes, it's possible it could be replaced under warranty. 
I would rather preemptively just take care of the issue before it becomes a problem. And you can too, it's super simple. Just remember to pull the high voltage disconnect or you'll have a very fun day. I think I wanna go over here real quick. This is car scanner. I have uh, 44,000 miles in my car. So here you can see that the 13.56 is the voltage of the 12 volt battery. It will have to do a calibration, which it will do automatically to give you the state of charge of the battery. It'll do that usually within an hour or two. You don't have to do anything, it's totally automatic. That's all I got for this one. Thank you for watching, and I hope you learned something. Like my shirt? It's Christmas time. Funny, you bastard.